both went to the game um, that was played in Belize versus Cayman. Um, we were we were a bit disappointed with the the results of the game as it was a nil nil draw as as we all know. Um, after that, we uh, as as was said saying being said by all the fans in the stadium, um, we missed Dion. We needed him on the the team. Um, we are very supportive of the Jaguars. We we love everything that they do, and we continue to support them. But um, we personally we did not know the situation with Dion. So what happened um, last week? We said, all right, all right. So after this, um, we should definitely get him for the second round. Second round is coming up now, and we heard the um, comments from from FFB um, president on Sunday. Um, on Sunday, he said um, we cannot give um, Dion a ticket because he is um, he's not assigned to any team in the in the U.S. When I heard that, I was like, "How could you we we not give him a ticket if he's saying if he's saying then that he doesn't have a job?" So I put that on Facebook. Started um, getting feedbacks from from guy, from guys guys like Dylan who came in and jumped in, and we started a debate. When we started that debate, after that, um, people who could have gotten contact with Dion got in contact with Dion, and he told us the the situation. His situation is he, he just came back from Greece. He doesn't have the money for the ticket, and once um, once he gets here, it, it wasn't even shown out by him. It was shown out by us. Once we get him, because I was saying, just, let's just get him here, let's just get him here, let's get the ticket, and let's just get him here. No, the guys, they said, once we get him here, what is he going to do for 10 weeks? A man can't live on nothing for 10 weeks. So we need to, we need to figure out a way to, um, 